Hey Capricorn, welcome back guys. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get you a love reading. Let's see what's going on with my Capricorn and their love life. We're going to see what's going on with you guys. What's coming towards you? Look at through. I want, want it to come out. So there's something that you've been waiting on, some type of result, some clarity. It's coming in, okay? Um, bottom of the deck. This will actually bring you in Ten of Cups, a happily ever after. So if you're waiting for some clarity from an ex or someone from your past or whatever, just you're or someone new, you're about to get that clarity and it's going to move you towards victory and success. All right, Capricorn, so let's get started with your love reading. Let's see what's coming towards you in love. Guys, please keep in mind that these readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you at the moment. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Keep in mind that these, um, these messages may resonate with you in a later time, okay? So let's get started here. Let's see, what is this overall energy for my Virgo? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, and Virgo. Why am I saying Virgo? Hmm. You might be dealing with a Virgo, but you. this is for Capricorn. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. Overall energy for my Capricorn, please. Help me give them clear and concise messages. Seven of Pentacles here. Something is being evaluated or reevaluated. Where there has been some stalemate, some indecision, I feel that there is about to be some clarity here. There's some growth. It's all of a sudden, there is like this epiphany moment that happens and somebody, light bulb turns on, okay? And this person has like this overall energy to want to come towards you and clear something up. What is this? Yeah, two of cups. It's a soulmate. It's a divinely guided partnership here. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what's coming towards my Capricorn regarding love, please? Ten of Wands. This is the second time I see this in my shuffles. Um, there's something that caused you a burden in the recent past. But there is, look, you got completion. You have completion to whatever was causing you a burden. Because you got the Ten of Pentacles here. It is the ultimate achievement, okay? So if you've been waiting for a Divine Masculine who at one point was in the reverse, didn't know what he or she wanted, I feel that this person is going to come towards you now. And they're going to bring in some type of clarity that will ultimately alleviate this burden and bring you in some new stable beginnings. Look, you got the Ace of Pentacles, but I'm only taking the Page of Cups. So definitely expect... A message of love here. Expect some communication from this person. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. There was a death. There was a transformation. So there was an ending to old ways, old habits, old situations to allow a new beginning here. Damn, four of wands. Happily ever after. So Capricorn, right now you're in this place where you are in separation with the person that you're currently thinking of the person that you are in love with the who, whom you see as your your twin flame your soulmate whatever you resonates with you i feel that your connection came to an end but it was only temporary though okay because your person had to go through some type of dark night of the soul there was some transformation that this person had to go through here there was a nightmare that needed to end and I feel that now that this person has all of this resolved, they're getting ready to communicate with you. And there is a happily, a happily ever after and, and this, at the end of the day. It's like you have the light at the end of the tunnel here. Universe, archangels, a spirit, angel guides, and guardians. What is this overall energy with my Capricorn here? What is going on with Capricorn and this person? Nine of cups, satisfaction, wish fulfillment. Someone's coming back in. They're bringing justice to the situation, Okay. If your person walked away from you in the recent past, okay, and this person decided that at that moment they couldn't deal with this connection, it wasn't something that they wanted, there was a lot of sadness and a lot of instability, this person is bringing in a stable offer now. With this stable offer, there is a reunion and a reconciliation. I feel that for some of you guys, you've been waiting on this person to come back towards you. But it's not like you stop living life or anything like that. You continue doing you handling your business while this person had to do what they had to do. And now they're going to present themselves. They're going to present themselves. They're bringing, in, they're bringing in an offer here. They want to have a conversation with you with this Queen of Swords energy, which will ultimately bring in clarity. You manifested this. You manifested this or this person manifested you back. But there is love in this situation still. What happened in the recent past universe? 
Knight of Wands energy here. Maybe somebody decided to no longer pursue the connection, decided to leave the relationship out in the cold. Why did they decide? I feel that this person had a lot of things going on. Even though they loved you very much, this person had a lot of conflicts to deal with, okay? And this was on a personal level. They might have decided not to talk about it in the past. They decided to just walk away and keep that information to themselves. Once they got this resolved, now they're coming towards you to communicate here. Four cups energy. They just needed some time by themselves. You know, this person is just sitting there looking at looking off into the sky wondering what they're gonna do here but i feel that this person has finally come to terms and realization that you know this is his soulmate or her soulmate okay because you got a divinely guided couple here okay the king and the queen of wands six of cups energy soulmate energy four of wands energy soulmate energy two of cups energy soulmate energy it's like this person had to go through some type of toxic situation and ultimately end that cycle to be able to give you what you so desire there was love here there is love here i feel that things might have started very fast hot and heavy between you guys and then things started happening life started happening and it slowed the connection down this person needed like a breather to catch up now they're coming towards you in this knight of swords energy very decisive taking action wanting to bring in clarity Four of Pentacles because they can't let you go. They've been thinking about you. Page of Swords. Definitely expect communication from this person because there is clarity being brought to a situation. And there is an opportunity for this Ace of Wands energy here. A new beginning in love. What is the outcome in this situation for Capricorn and the person that is on their mind universe? Queen of Pentacles. Stability. Stability. There is actually, this person is coming towards you because I feel that they're stable. They're ready to let their guard down. They're ready to commit to the situation. They don't want to fight this anymore. They've gotten some spiritual enlightenment, some clarity. They just needed to find themselves. They were dealing with a lot of burdens at one point. And it wasn't you. I just heard it wasn't you. They had to deal with something personally. Three of Cups. Now they're coming back for this reunion, for this reconciliation, for this celebration. Because look, at, at the end of the day, Capricorn, you in this person's eyes have always been this beautiful pre-Empress, Empress energy here. Okay? This is how this person has viewed you. They never stopped looking at you like that. And even though they know that they walked away from you and they could have potentially lost you forever, they always secretly had in their heart coming back for you and looking for you. Somebody here is going to get a message. Are you available? Can you? Are you seeing anyone? Like They, they want to know if you're still available for them to pursue you. King of Wands energy here. A fire sign energy. Somebody who's very passionate for this connection is coming in with some truth and clarity. Because they want a new beginning. They've gotten their awareness. They've gotten their breakthrough. They know what they need to do. They need to come in and heal this three of swords energy. And come in and offer you this ace of pentacles here. With this ace of cups, ace of cup. I'm sorry, ace of pentacles, ace of cups, ace of swords. And you also have the Ace of Wands in here. You got all Aces. This is a beautiful new beginning. And I feel that for some of you guys, it's very unexpected. But it is going to bring in a lot of happiness. It's going to bring in your Ten of Cups energy. There you go. Unexpected forward movement. This person wants to work on this connection. They want to prove to you that they can be your Emperor. They can be your Empress. That they can fight for this connection. They're ready to put the work because their thing at the end of the day is to reach marriage, commitment, stability, and equal give and take here. What is the outcome in this situation for my Capricorn universe? Outcome? Seven of Swords. I feel that you're going to find it difficult still to trust this person when they first reach out to you with this Page of Wands energy. Crosswatcher, you're going to have to prove without a reasonable doubt that you're coming towards this connection for victory and success. If you want my Capricorn to work with you, you're going to have to work double time to have them forget about what happened in the past. Universe, final message here for my Capricorn, please. Wheel of Fortune. Capricorn, when this opportunity presents itself, you are being told to give it a second chance. This is going to ultimately be what you have always wished for. This is what you wanted. It's finally coming in. I feel that this person tried to move on or you tried to move on many times, but it has not worked out. Nothing else is quite like this. They're stuck on you. 
this person had to deal with some blockages. They had to remove some stuff, but I feel that now they're ready to, to work on this connection. I feel like I gave you every chance I could. We tried. I did. You're disappointed with this person. You may even be defensive. Your walls are going to be up. But this person wants to come in and tell you, I understand this connection is different. I get it. This is a divine counterpart. Okay? This person has finally awoken to this connection being a soulmate situation. And they're ready for it. Final message here. This was the real thing I knew. I know now. See, at one point they had a blindfold over the eyes. And now this person, they've healed. I told you, I want to open up to you. I do. Heart chakra healing. They've healed. They've worked on themselves. Now they're ready to come to the connection. They're ready to commit to this situation now. So Capricorn, like I said early on, you might be dealing with a Virgo. But Capricorn, this person that walked away from you in the recent past, they had to heal. And they're healed and they're ready for this connection. They want a second chance. They want to obtain peace, harmony, and balance with you. They want victory and success. Shit, this person wants to marry you. They want to marry you. So you're being told, give this relationship a second chance because it will be everything that you have always hoped for and prayed for. All right, guys. Well, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you are interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.